Well, Ian, if you allowed yourself a celebration, you look well on it. Did everybody enjoy the post-match last night? Have a great night for the club. Yeah, look, the post-match was literally travelling home and, and getting reset for Saturday. Uh, as I said, listen, it was a brilliant achievement last night and we can now park that, but the time for Pats in the back is, is in the summer. Um, for now, it's focused. We've got lots of work to be done. Still fighting on two fronts, which is great for the football club and great for the players and the fans. And, yeah, just refocus and ready for Saturday now. But there's a good feel, good feel around it, obviously the supporters enjoyed it last night, the messages that have come to the club today, the social media, I'm sure you've had messages yourself and seen fans around the place, you know, it, it, great feeling. It is a great feeling, as I shared with you last night, you know, I was really nervous um, because not for myself or, or the nerves and I'm doubting the team in any way, it was literally because I just knew what it would do for everybody to, to get us there um, and it's... It's a wonderful feeling knowing that we've done it, but as I said, the time for Pats in the back is in the summer. When the job's done, the job isn't done yet. We've got lots of work to be done, games and points to play for, and obviously the final to come, but for now it's full focus on Saturday. Yeah, it's five or six weeks away now, so that's nice to look forward to in the future and park it, but as you say, yeah. lots of business to look forward to in the league, Port Vale on Saturday, the next one, and uh, you're going well in that too. Yeah, and again, um, we want to respond from last Saturday and, and get an, a victory on the board, but we know in this division there's, there's no easy games. Port Vale is no different to that. Darrell's teams are always difficult to beat um, and we need to be full focus and, and ready to go on Saturday. I know you mentioned again last night that uh, the support was, was, was terrific last night and, and, and come down again at home games and get behind the team. And I know they will do, but again, it'll be important again, won't it? Everybody, Huge. You know, you know, after the Lord Mayor's show, everybody's yeah. up for it again on Saturday. Yeah, exactly that. And I think um, we've had a real buy-in from the fans and they've really bought into everything that we're doing and the connection is, is clearly there for all to see. Last night, the support was, was unbelievable. And yeah, if we can recreate that part as an atmosphere here, make it an intimidating place for teams to come. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll give everyone a run for the money, but for now, it's as I said, it's about focusing on Port Vale and making sure we take care of our own business and our own performance level. We missed the Cup Tide lads last night, although they were there as part of the yeah. celebrations, which was great, but because the, the plus side of that is they can potentially come back in fresh for league games. You've got a few options to change it around. Yeah, exactly, and it might be the way that we have to do that. Um, we've, we've got some really good players that weren't available last night. Kyle Dempsey will be back available, Cameron Jerome will be available. We've got the ones that were Cup Tide back available. So, yeah, it's a strong squad to choose from on Saturday, and, and we'll have a look at them tomorrow and, and make the best decision who we think can win the game against Port Vale. I won't say it'll give them any extra incentive, it, it won't, but they've seen what's happened last night, the celebrations, and, and they'll want to try and replicate it in the league, the lads that can't play in that cup. Exactly, and I think just everyone's enjoying the football at the moment. As I said, there's, there's lots to be pleased and positive about, but there's no pats on the back here. It's, it's just about the next game, the next result, and, and that's on Saturday. Um, again, looking at our processes, what makes a good performance, how do we implement our game plan, all these things... We talk about pre-game, uh, we'll have a game plan and, and hopefully the lads will execute. Dan, Unlu Dan Unlundulu yeah. is in the food, sir. <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> see, he's hasn't played for a few weeks, so I've got yeah, out of practice. Yeah. Uh, he was one of those that couldn't play last night. Is he back in the frame? Is he, he's back in training this week? Is he, uh, yeah, he's back. He's mm -hmm. fine. Uh, he's trained really well as well. He's, he's got the bit between his teeth and ready to go. The old cliche, he's a bit like a new signing because he came in January yeah. and he's only played a couple of games, but we remember that first 45 at yeah. Derby and there were some good signs there. He's a fantastic character as well. Um, yeah, he does seem really you know, lively. The, the players have, have really connected. Yeah. It's, it's crazy to think with so many new ones in January, but just the way they've all connected together is, is super. Yeah, not just new ones, but lone ones as well. They don't actually belong to us, all of them, but they all, we had a chat with Shola before and Traff we know about and Connor the way, but yeah. they've all bought into what you're doing. Yeah, and, and again, it, Everything comes from the top and you know Sharon and the ownership group have created a wonderful culture here and I'm part of that culture and, and yeah, people seem to thrive in it. It's all about the environment that we've created and it's a really good environment to work and improve and every player is enjoying it at the moment. Yeah, so nothing to give them but onwards and upwards, what's not to Exactly, like. that's, that's it. It's, it's whatever's done is done, um, park and move on and get ready for Saturday.